Hey everyone, this is Road Pickle Steve. Hey, have you ever uh, gone up to a campground and get set up? Then uh, you tried to fire up your uh, Onan generator and then find out that the generator is having trouble starting or it starts up but then it dies after a minute or two or maybe it starts up but as soon as you fire up the air conditioner or your microwave oven the generator quits on you. Well, before you uh, tear this whole thing apart we got a little uh, tip for you to try out before you do anything else. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull the cover off our generator here and dig into it and uh, show you what to do. Cover pulled off and um, this particular video is in reference to the RVQG 5500 watt generator. Um, if you have another model, it may be a little bit different situation, but um, we'll go ahead and pull this front panel off and uh, get to the carburetor. I got the front panel pulled off and uh, now I want to, if you look down in here, you'll see this little black dial with the blue dot in the center. That's your altitude adjustment. And right now I've got it turned all the way over to the left. And uh, that's kind of the, that's probably the default setting when you get a generator installed in your trailer. And uh, that indicates about 0 to 2500 feet altitude. Um, you turn it a little bit, it'll take you up to about 2,500 to 5,000 feet. Turn it all the way over to the right, and that sets it to about 5,000 feet to 10,000 feet. So, if you're like uh, most campers, you probably leave the big city, you head up into the mountains for camping, and uh, right away you're probably already at 5,000 feet once you get up there. So you're definitely going to want to get in here and switch that guy all the way over to the right and um, adjust your altitude so that uh, you're sucking in more air and that should solve your starting problems and uh, actually will give you more horsepower or I'm sorry not more horsepower but more wattage. Um, Onan suggests uh, that probably for every 4,000 feet of elevation you're going to lose about 560 watts of power so um, that is if you don't adjust this guy. So um, if you do ahead, go ahead and adjust it, you'll regain a lot of that wattage and uh, your generator will run a lot better. All right, well, this has been Road Pickle Steve. Hope that helps. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Over and out.